One thing good about the Razer products is you can get parts for them. Um, and I had two batteries for it. I put two, um, what size are these? I think it had the 8 amp hour and these were the 12. Is that right? Mm, yeah, these are 12 amp hour. I had, it had the 8 amp hour just like that one. And I, I made a new battery tray for it and put the 12s in it. But, um, he's ridden it, I guess, about a year now. And he's ready for something faster. So, what I've done, and it hasn't come in yet, I ordered some parts for it. Some parts come in, some haven't. What I ordered was a 36 volt uh, controller. And the controller I ordered also has reverse. So that will make this from a um, forward only and I'll, to a reverse. I'll add a reverse switch and it, it's going to make it 36 volt. I'll still use a 24 volt motor and uh, so he should get a good bit of more speed out of it. Now I've done some reading and a lot of people have switched these 36 volt and the motor does fine. Uh, they say you normally burn up the controller when you do it plus if you swap it to 36 volt without the controller then you have a charging problem. You know, you got to pretty much take the batteries out or isolate the batteries and charge them individually because you can't charge them through the controller anymore. Um, and I already have a 36 volt controller, I mean 36 volt charger. So when I convert this to 36 volt with the 36 volt controller, I'll be able to use the 36 volt charger and charge all the batteries together. So, and also, while I'm doing that, I'm upgrading to three 18 amp hour batteries. And that will give this thing quite a bit of runtime. Uh, it's going to cut down on my turning radius, or his turning radius, because the batteries are going to, they'll be narrower than these, um, but it's going to come out further. So if I do some measuring, those others are only seven wide so it's gonna be about an inch and a half narrower and it's gonna be but it's gonna be about two and a half inches longer for the battery tray so still have plenty of room um, but I'm gonna have to make a new battery tray I'll have to cut this one out that I made um, which is a shame because it's such a nice battery tray. Strong metal. Um, but that's our project, and we'll have to get the. Well, here is a Razor Dirt Quad without the battery and the handlebars off. To get the body off, I have to take the handlebars off. So that's what it looks like. Here's the controller. We'll go ahead and take the controller out, and then we're going to end up having to cut this out. I'm not going to do it today. This is the uh, battery tray I put on there. So we'll need to make an even bigger battery tray to put on here. And I don't know. I may modify and add on to this one. I don't know yet. It's, this one's too wide and it's not far enough out, so we're going to have to cut, make it shorter, which I might do with it on here. I could do that. Um, and then make an extension to it. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I may just go ahead and just cut this one off. And, start from scratch that might be the easiest thing so but before I do any of that I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, controller off you can see 24 volt 30 amp and it's a 2007 so this thing's like eight years old seven years old so this controller it's going to go on the dirt bike along with the grips. The problem 
is going to be getting these off. This one I can just cut off. That one I need to save. The handlebars are the same. If they are not. If they are the same, I'll just unbolt here. Swap the handlebars. Probably sand the red paint off of that, off of those bars. I don't know. We'll see. I didn't paint it all like this. It was. That was how I found it. I'm not going to complain for free. So, I think that's all I'm going to do for tonight. Other than take the controller off. Controller out. This is a uh, quite a bit of modification on this uh, dirt quad. The other thing I gotta do when I'm building my battery tray is think about how I'm gonna slide the batteries in because they're such a tight fit. I think. What I'll probably do is have to make sure the the tray has, depending on how far it, it goes. Let's see. I think it said nine inches. So the tray is going to go to right there. The last two inches is going to have to have an open side or a side that'll come out come off. Maybe what I do is have a side that will come off over here. Hmm. Well, I'll come up with some design and uh, go from there. We're going to have to make some new uh, steering stops. You'll see them right there. Just make some little extensions on those so we don't steer into the batteries. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do for today, so thanks for watching.